What's up guys? Go Rio to Gaming here back with a new Transport Fever 2 map, which I have named Railroad Paradise. You'll see why I got the name here in this video. I've been working on this map for probably a month and a half. Worked on it a lot before my hiatus a few months back, but now that I've got some time, I finished it off the last week or so. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a little under the weather right now, got a bit of a cold, but let's jump into it so like usual we're starting in 1985 so you can utilize intermodal cars this is kind of the big city part of the map so let's just go to this end first and we'll make our way all the way to the other side so as you can see right here we got a portal this is what I call the southwest portal west being this way east south and north so if you were to zoom out like this, like when you come to the map, that's how I do the direction. So we got a stack train loading up right here. It looks pretty good. We got some farming fields. Over here we got a custom grain industry. This time, which I haven't done before, I place static rail cars around the map. Just to give it a little bit more detail and realism for you guys. And then I made this custom farm. I think it came out pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with that. This is just the beginning. I know this part doesn't look too special, but trust me, this gets much better. We got a specific passenger line here to service the big cities. And we got our freight line right here as well, running parallel. I kind of like this skinny kind of city formation that it spawns. So that looks pretty good. And then we come in to the Buffalo Terminal. Great mod, if you don't have it, make sure to go get it. We got a stack train pulling out as we speak. So we come this way, you can deliver freight to here, passenger service here, so we'll have passengers well. I just created a bunch of trains, so they're pulling out the depot, getting everything ready on that end. We got the manifest yard for this area. We got a west station, an east station, there's a little yard for these locals that'll work the Buffalo Terminal and take freight into town. And then we have a yard. I built this custom steel mill. So let's take a look at that. This took a lot of time and effort. I, I was able to place the concrete foundation of the steel mill with the tracks just barely sticking through like they would in real life. Really pumped with how that came out. It took me a while to figure out how to do that. So you can bring steel out of here, but you got to deliver both coal and iron ore. Got some static stuff and just some overall just good detail. Came out really well. As you can see in our manifest yard, we got static manifest cars just sitting here waiting. So that's pretty neat. <clears throat> and then we got a branch line that comes off here, runs in and delivers each one of these towns as you can see alright let's move our way east we got a triple track main it's all realistic signals placed, realistic crossovers most of the routes are pre-placed so yeah it turned out really well. We're going to come on this way. Come on down. We're going to have our first junction. So this is a subdivision that cuts off right here. Runs through another populated area. Use the North American Bridge Pack that just came out with by the Meatball Hero. Highly suggest you guys pick it up. It's awesome. Come this way, got some bigger towns. And right here we got another kind of branch line that runs off to a manifest yard where you'll have a local delivering cargo to both towns. We also have a grain facility that's currently not connected to anything, so you guys decide what you want to do with that. Then we come over here to some old ore docks. So this is where you can run some iron ore down to. I think it came out pretty good. Some a little bit of detail. It can be much more detailed. I'll let you guys kind of fill in the blank. But just some basics here. 
And then this is where you input the ore. If you can figure out the ore docks, you can even run ore out to ship. But this is how I have it configured for the moment. But that can always be changed. I just try to make it easier for you guys. And if you want to make any tweaks or changes, feel free. We got a passenger depot We're down here. If we continue this way, we got a static industry right here come across pretty neat looking bridge I made the North American bridge pack is really cool because it's very customizable so you can make it tailor it to how you like it then over here we have our coal mine where our coal trains will load up as you can see it's an underground mine <clears throat> I tried to make it as legit looking as I could with the assets available and then we have another portal this is our west portal Put a tunnel here just to kind of cover up the obvious. So, not as much activi activity going on here as the other portals, but enough to have fun with. So you guys can figure out what you want to do with that. Alright, so let's continue the main line. So here's our first coal train. Should be going to load up. I altered the weight of these rail cars because they're very light. These are technically 70 ton cars and they were only put in as I think 26 tons or something like that. So I changed them to 70 ton so they're going to be real heavy trains now like coal trains should be. You can do that by going into the workshop content files. If you want to see a video on how to do that to alter the the rail car weights to realistic weights uh, comment below and I'll make a video on that alright so we're back to the junction this is where the triple track ends 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 jeez kind of accent going on there one thing I want to achieve with this map was scenery that you don't get tired of scenery that looks awesome so you can take a cab ride in your locomotive and truly enjoy the scenery so I got a bunch of mods the realistic water Here's a river coming out of the mountains. So, it's going to be a beautiful route. It has all the aspects of my past routes, plus a lot more detail to the scenery. So, as you can see right here, go to single track. Got to have some single track. This map was really modeled after the whole the United States as a whole. Now we don't have any deserts or real coastline, but when it comes to western railroading, so mountains, midwestern with some farms back there where we showed earlier, and then on the eastern side of the map is very east coast themed. So pretty scenic, pretty cool little cut here for the river. Got some tunnels. <clears throat> Exit this tunnel. We got another siding. Come down this way. And I do have industry set on low, so that new industries will pop up. So continue to keep the map having a new feeling. Got it in the single track. Got the river right here. Then we got this old <clears throat> little mining town. Old outcropping of buildings. Old mine right here. We're getting back into the mountains now. And then we got this spur track where they used to load up ore. They don't anymore. And then what the railroad will use with spur tracks on a main line is setting out bad order cars. So a car that has a mechanical issue in route where you need to set it out <clears throat> or else something bad's going to happen. So here's a bad order set out. We got an auto rack. So that's something I incorporated on this route. Got our intermediate signals. We're just using waypoint signals for the look. Um, I had an awesome tip from one of our subscribers of how you can use real signals where you just kind of offset them to where this is farther back, this is farther forward. However, I do, when I have single track, I do like to keep the spacing. So I want the trains to stay in the sidings until it's cleared up, or else you'll get, you know, multiple trains clogged up around the siding which then causes some backup and some fixing this way it runs much smoother and you don't have that problem 
So we're continuing along the river, going farther into the mountains. Just wanted to make it real scenic, you know, just have the kind of a sense of beauty to it, like you would want to do with a model railroad route or layout. This is kind of how I approach this game is I want to make it a virtual model railroad. This is kind of how I think of it with aspects of railroading since I am a pass railroader. And along the route I throw in these old kind of cabins as well just to give it a little bit of character I guess. You would find these old cabins in these mountainous regions through in the fall trees as well. Can't go wrong with that. So then we go back to double track here. So we come up on our next city. We do have a passenger station right here. You'll just have to set up, you know, a road, a bus stop. We got a lake which feeds out from the mountain, which I'll explain later how that works. Over here, we got a lumber mill and just a general station, I believe, where you can deliver cargo and stuff as well. Got a little depot here on the spur track. And then we got a little manifest yard. We got some center beams because you're going to deliver logs to there. And then we got our rock mine right here so nothing too different from the rest of my maps <clears throat> kind of made it look the same but I did add some static cars just to give it a little bit more detail got our little lake right here yard ends got some crossovers so we're gonna have manifest trains pick up and set out at all these smaller yards and route so we're going to continue east. Got double track all through here. So this, this will give it a chance for some trains to pass each other without having to stop. Keep the flow of traffic going. Like I said, got some more cabins. Got a couple animals over here. A couple coos. Just trying to give it some detail. Then we got this horseshoe kind of curve. And this part of the map I kind of themed after the Tennessee Pass. I kind of took things from all over the U.S. to theme different sections of this route or of this map. So we got some more tunnels. I used some uh, wooden walls with the Western Mods pack. is rock barriers basically, which you would see back in the day or maybe can still, still see on some routes in today's age. So I just think that just Add some more detail. Got tunnels. So there's a section of the Tennessee Pass that looks very similar to this, where it's a very steep grade and it just kind of hugs this a ridge line. So that's where I kind of got this idea from. Got a nice bridge. And then, like the Tennessee Pass at the very top, we got ourselves a pretty long tunnel. Pops out right here. And we go back to double track through this mountainous valley as well. Got an old industry here with some cars. And we got our next kind of yard. We got an empty intermodal train coming through town. That looks pretty good. Alright, so this is not a real city. I made this just out of buildings. This kind of reminded me, I found a bunch of buildings in a mod that reminded me of kind of the old colonial or old western cities with these buildings. So that's what I wanted to build. I wanted to build kind of an old school looking mountain town. Hey look at that. We got some people walking around too. Adds to the detail. We do have an Amtrak depot right here. I think I named this town Jericho technically. <coughs> kind of old school gas station with an old garage so this is just supposed to be a cool old mountain town like you would find in my home state of Montana or Colorado so got a yard some old industries over here we got take stone and then we got a vehicle recycling plant and then we got a depot and then I made this airport kind of private little airport right here as it runs down 
You got some apple farms. So yeah, it's got a good balance. Got a bus depot right here. You can bus in passengers to this depot since it's not a real depot. And I'll show you that here in a second. But I'll show you some scenery real quick. We got a little branch line that comes off right here. Cool bridge that I built into this lake, <coughs> which is how... <coughs> Man, I'm losing my voice. Yeehaw. All right, we're back. So this is how the water feeds down to the lake below. So you got this river that feeds into it, and then it feeds out right here. And it comes out as well. Man-made tunnel, basically. So let's follow this branch up to our logging camp. This is the only logging camp on the game, unless a new one spawns. Plenty of logging to do here. So you'll need to have a local, which should already be pre-programmed. So runs down to that yard, and then our manifest trains will make pickups and setouts. So bring the logs then down to this yard, which then the local down here will feed to the lumber mill. So it's all a chain. When it comes to the manifest part of this map, it's all a chain. So you got to get it all going for it to all work. You can't just get some of it going. Now, I always like the idea of abandoned rail lines. So right here we have this cutoff for the lumber mill. But this is as far as this rail line is used. So this is a former main line. I added some overgrowth to really give it some character so not that you can't use this you can always put it back in the service but just adds a little bit of flair to this map I guess you could say got some tunnels got an old bridge here come on down this way to what I call the northwest portal parentheses inactive so you can always change that you zoom in it looks real good and then we got an old western town here from back in the day you know late 1800s early 1900s and then we have a portal so if you ever want to use this you're more than welcome to or you could turn this into some sort of passenger service you know maybe like a old kind of uh what would you call this like a museum passenger train right kind of goes back and forth that's what i did on the other side of the map which i'll show you here shortly and then we got the falls here really glad to have this water map pretty pumped on that little parking lot umbrellas people checking it out eagles flying all the good stuff so comes out from the river above but first let's keep going on our route before I get sidetracked we got our next lake right here <clears throat> as you can see it spawned an industry in the middle of it <laughs> so when you guys get the map it will not look like that fortunately that's why I don't turn on the industry spawn most of the time because it's quite annoying all right, now it's back to how it should look. So as we continue the double track-ins right here, our road continues out of town. And then we have somebody's private mountain lodge right on the lake. So just trying to add a few little details like that for you guys. We'll go up this way in a second. Go along here. We got a little, little spur track, siding track, whatever you want to call it got a couple more bad orders that have been set out old water tower and then we got this old branch line comes up here same kind of thing overgrown trees all that good stuff got a tunnel that heads in the town right here so this is where you'll get your passengers for this depot down here for the passenger services from this real town so we have the train come out, bridges across town, and then it used to service this old industry, which is now abandoned. Like I said, you can always put these little 
abandoned routes back in service, but I just think it adds to some character of the gameplay, just having something different. So, continuing up this way, we got our first siding coming up this side of the mountain. This side just is more kind of themed on maybe Northern California, maybe a little bit of Tehachapi, but with mountain scenery. We got this split. Got some more cool bridges. Then it just kind of winds its way up. Got an old log cabin here with, they say it's a deer, but that's an elk. Then we come to some more tunnels. So we got a, another empty intermodal train rolling through. More tunnels. And then this is my favorite bridge of the map right here. Pretty awesome long bridge like you would find in some mountain territories. Old cabin right here. Let's follow the river down to the falls. Got a little place where water kind of builds up. Kind of zigz <coughs> zigzags around. And then we get to the main waterfalls right there. So, pretty neat. Put a lot of time and effort into this river. We'll follow it this way. It just kind of goes up this mountain valley to the next kind of lake where you'll have snow runoff and all that good stuff that feeds into it. Over here is where we have the abandoned line. So what's nice is that these are all kind of tucked away. It's not too cluttered, right? Because I don't, it's not realistic when you have a bunch of lines within a similar space and it's very visible. So we got our next siding here. Climbing up almost to the summit of this map. I should mention train lengths are good for one mile with these sightings or 5,280 feet. One thing I like to do is I change my my trains to read in feet rather than in meters or miles so that I can see precisely how long the train is. Because <clears throat> when I was a conductor on the railroad our paperwork was always in feet whenever you get a train. A little bit easier to read. So we got our summit, got this cool snow tree, winter tree pack, makes it look really cool. And we got a coal mine up here, another one, got some more bad orders set out here in this yard. So this currently is an active, but I did put a depot and I did put a, a uh, coal freestyle industries so that you can activate it if you so choose. <clears throat> put a little detail into it up here not a whole lot it doesn't look too bad it's just supposed to be an old coal mine I probably won't use it but obviously you guys are welcome to let me go back to single track and down the back side of the map so I guess what you would call the eastern US a little bit different scenery a lot more fall on this side like you'd find the smoky mountains or whatnot Got our siding on the back side. Got our bridges. So not as much of a climb from this end. This side is about the same height as this valley right here. Actually, it might be the same height as this valley. I forget, but it doesn't go back down the sea level like the western side of the map. It's still got some elevation to it. Some bridges. Coming back down here in the town, got some tunnels. Then we kind of come into the chaos of this side of the map. Five tracks wide, yeah, crazy. So one thing I like to do is I start with all standard tracks, so all wood ties. As I upgrade the map, so as I start double tracking because I got more trains and stuff, then I like to add the concrete because then you get to see what you started off with compared to what you have now. So it's almost like you can see the progression of your railroad through using concrete for new trackage. So I, I left this concrete in here because I realized that we needed two, two tracks coming into this intermodal yard. 
So one is an outbound track, one is an inbound. So I figured I'd just use concrete to show you guys that that was a last minute addition to this map. So it's not original to it, even though when you get the map it comes with it. So we got our a big junction here. This is where you'll bring your coal to from the western side of the map. So got a power plant, came out pretty good, used some fences to give it some character. And over here we got some industries that need to be serviced. I don't have any locals going to them. I'll leave that up to you guys. We'll come down this way to our next kind of city area. So you'll run a, a manifest hauler is what I would call it down here in the town. When you get the winter trees mod, it does spawn some winter trees within these cities. So just a heads up. So we got freight and we got passenger. Now a hauler is basically a manifest train that it's not a point A to point B in the sense of your typical manifest. So I would run a manifest from this yard to the other side of the map like I showed you before. That's your traditional manifest. A hauler would be a manifest train that runs it into these cities. It's not directly a local though or runs it to another small yard that's not too far from here. So there is a difference between your traditional manifest train and what we would call haulers at the Union Pacific. Got a little yard for the coal cars. All right, so I'll show you this. This is kind of the main yard of this whole map. So we got our manifest outbound inbound yard. We got boxcar storage right here. You'll find this in some yards. We got our bowl for the hump, hump yard over here, up and back down. We got our work train, is what I would call it, area. So all for the track crews, right? Doing track work. We got our rail car repair facility right here. We got our locomotive facility. We got our real refuel pads for the locomotives we got our fuel tanks which I got piping that runs down underneath to the fuel rack right here so that's the manifest yard then we got our intermodal yard so all intermodal trains will come in here <coughs> and exchange cargo so once this auto save is done I'll show you what I mean it's a big map. It's got a lot of mods. So we got westbound traffic coming out of this yard and eastbound traffic coming into that one. So what I do have is a Aurora ramp job. So it's basically a yard job but for the intermodal yard. So it goes back in between the westbound and the eastbound stations. So it's just transferring freight to whoever needs it, going back and forth. A ramp job is what you would find in real life. That's what builds these intermodal trains. So that'll help with the flow of getting cargo to where it needs to go. Same thing with the manifest yard. I have a yard job that'll go back in, back in between these two depots. So it just distributes the freight better, and then you have a yard job, which makes it a little bit more realistic. So we got the double track that runs through. We got our two yards, and then we have two subdivisions that split from each other right here, making this interesting junction right here. So let's first go with this. This is the shorter subdivision. We got an old dirt road right here goes the single track got a little spur track for this old gas station out here in the country maybe they used to deliver goods to that back in the day it's no longer in use got our siding coming through here and if you zoom in you know it's pretty awesome scenery so like I said if you were to take a cab ride it'd be nice and scenic then we got this farm kind of way out in the sticks with the spur track that I used to pick up, let's say, cows or deliver grain to, you know, whatever you want that to be. So then we got our north portal. 
This one is not as busy as our other portals, but it's its own subdivision basically. So we'll come back. If I zoom out, you can kind of see how this section of the map looks. It's not too cluttered, it's got its own little areas. I think it's pretty fitting. So then we'll go out this way. Got double track for a while. Goes to single track. You know, I just like starting with single track. It just gives the gameplay a little bit more difficulty in a sense. Old abandoned building out here. We got our first siding. So all these sidings should be good for about mile long trains. Maybe a little bit less, maybe 5,000 feet on this subdivision in particular. Got our second siding coming through here. Just kind of weaving through these smaller kind of canyons, kind of east coast looking canyons. Then we come out to another heavily populated area. Got a freight station for giving freight to these towns. Got a passenger station. We got another grain farm. This double track goes to single, and then we come out to here. Very heavily populated. We got a little branch going into there. So the intermodal will continue that way. And our manifest hauler. So this is a good example. We'll have a hauler that comes from here to this manifest yard here. Which will then give the freight to the different locals, which will run into these cities, giving them the freight that they need. And then we also have this passenger station for this area as well. With bus stops and all that already integrated. So you just got to get them running. So use buses to round up all the people to this passenger station. So then it runs out right here. Got another tiny little yard to deliver freight. Come out this way. We go back to single track. Got ourselves another lake. Kind of east coast vibe. And we come out this way. We got ourselves a river coming out. And then feeds off to the end of the map. Then we got probably our on our busiest east coast portal, which is right here. So you got cargo. You can put the steel from the steel mill that you make on the west side of the map can be taken here. Along with a bunch of other stuff. We have a city up here, and this is one of my favorite parts of the map, which I'll show you guys. So I, w I wanted to build a museum, a functional railroad museum. So this is what we did. I made a siding here with some old school signals, since this is the start of the railroad museum line. Got a little tunnel. Got a little bridge. Then we come into our railroad museum right here. So it's a conglomerate of all the old freight and passenger cars. And then we come into here and we have all the old diesel steam locomotives on display. Now, they're all up and running right now. <laughs> Which would be nice if we didn't have to do that. Oh, did I just freeze the game? Nope. Just was curious. We got our museum passenger station, our museum depot. But I just wanted, I always wanted to make a museum that looked pretty, pretty legit and that was functional. So yeah, through all this smoke, we have all the old steam engines, electric, diesel, all that good stuff. So, pretty awesome. And it's functional, like I said. So you'll run passengers from this station all the way down to this station. Here's the route right here. Comes in. Whoop. So that'll be fun. I plan on personally using, you know steam engines with old passenger cars so then you kinda <clears throat> you have both the modern kinda diesels and stuff on the main railroad 
and then you have something where you can run steam and old passenger cars like these on this museum railroad <coughs> sorry much apologize at the same time it's functional as well so yeah pretty pretty good stuff glad i was able to pull that off so we'll kind of go back over the map here briefly as you can see Nice little yard area up over the mountains. You know, it'd be cool if an industry spawned up in here because you can always run a branch line off of this main all the way up into here. Or you can add a mine. That'd be pretty neat and pretty realistic. Back down this way. So we should have our loaded... Oh, why did that load? I must not have gone to it first. Darn. Yeah, that's what happens sometimes. This train should be pretty heavy, so I put in some mid-train helpers. You typically put in mid-train helpers if you want to do this about two-thirds of the way through. So this is a about a mile-long train, so I put them in about 3,500 feet back. Come back down this way. We got this back around. Looks like we got a train descending. And we got a train waiting right here. Let's see what the weight is on this. 8,600 tons. That's that's more realistic. I actually went into the mod and I lowered the weight for these cars because they were much heavier than they are in real life. Fully loaded. That's cool. We wind down through this river. Looks like we got another train coming up. This one should be around the same weight. 8,800 tons. 10 feet over a mile. So obviously at some point this will be double tracked, but for now we're just getting it going. So we'll keep it how it is until it gets too busy. Come back down, we got the river. Here we are, back at the beginning. Oh, I know why I didn't load. I forgot to put a Freestyle Industries for coal right here. That sucks. Not to fear. I'll wait for this auto save. Go here. Freestyle Industries. Output. Coal. So you may need to do this in your map. It's very simple. I always forget something. You know, always. Let's see, there we go. All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, put a lot of time and effort into this. Hope you guys like it. It's a good sized map, lots of things to do. And yeah, I kind of put all my skills or abilities into this map. I made it as realistic as I could when it comes to the railroad. Tried to put in a good amount of detail you know, I was very patient with this map most of the time. I don't rush it, but I don't put a whole lot of emphasis on the detail or on the scenery, I should say, the scenery detail. So anyways, guys, I hope you like it. It'll be up on the workshop when this video drops. So I'd love to hear what you guys think of it in the comments once you've been playing it. If you guys have your own YouTube channel, uh, make a video on you guys playing this map. I'd be really curious to see how you guys choose to run it. I'm going to make future videos on this map of just me running the railroad. So, yeah, let me know th what you guys think. I'd love some feedback. If you have any future map ideas, let me know. I probably won't make any maps here for a little bit. This one, uh, you know, I need a break after making this one. So, we'll have some fun with it, and then in the future... Hopefully we'll come out some more. So anyways, 
Appreciate it if you guys like the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thanks for the support, and we will see you guys later.